hey bitches, it's Elle and welcome back to my channel. This week we are going to be learning how to strip sublimation mess ups by using just this. And within 24 hours you will have a stainless steel blank and that sublimation coating will be laying in your aluminum foil. From my experience, yes you can sand down your sublimation mess ups. But, I have seen the images come through two coats of glitter and epoxy after just a few months from the heat and other environmental conditions. I take this extra step just so I don't have to worry about that. Everybody does things differently, but I want to share the hack that has helped me. Thank you so much for the likes, subscribes, and shares. We're growing over here. Oh, and that podcast is coming soon. So, let's get it. All right, bitches, this is going to be easy peasy. I get this question all the time on how do you strip your stainless steel? How do you get rid of that coating? You do not have to strip plain sublimation tumblers. You can literally just sand it down to get that, you know, smooth coating off. I used to only buy sublimation blanks. But a lot of people have mess ups whenever they're pressing their sublimation tumblers. And it is so much easier just to strip the coating completely off than having the chance of your design peeking back through over what you do to it. I have seen several times this happen. Someone will press an image, it's ghosted, they sand it, and then they go in with the paint, glitter, all that stuff, and complete a tumbler just like they would if they were doing a regular epoxy tumbler. But I'm telling you, I've seen it happen. I've had it happen due to the heat, due to other circumstances. There is a chance that that image will always peek back through, even if you do two coats of glitter, five coats of epoxy, decaling, it will still show through. So why not just do this? You're going to get your citrus strip. You're going to pour it on top. Just glob it. Make sure it's covered all the way around. You don't have to put it on the inside. Just make sure the bottom's covered. And I roll it around on aluminum foil. I will roll it up once I get it completely coated. And little bit of advice. The citrus strip is harsh, so it will eat through a nitrile glove. Just make sure you wash your hand, you know. But once you get it fully coated, we are going to wrap it up in this aluminum foil. Stick it to the side. That's it. Easy peasy. Let it sit for 24 hours. I've done 12. It isn't really ready yet at 12. 24 hours. And you're going to watch that entire sublimated coating be in the bottom of that aluminum foil. No bullshit. So, here we go. We let it sit for 24 hours. Now, we're going to start unwrapping the tumbler. And you are going to see that the entire coat. Here it is. There it is. The entire coat is in the aluminum foil off of the tumbler. And all you have to do is get a paper towel and wipe it clean. If you get a couple of pieces, you know, stuck on it, you can do a razor blade or just leave it on there. No biggie. But I'm going to speed this up. And yeah, easy peasy. I've stripped cases of sublimation to get them to stainless steel. I used to purchase the huge jugs of citrus strip. But that is the small jug. But you can see all that yuck. All that ink is laying in that freaking aluminum foil. I just, I don't know. It's so satisfying to me. I'll see y'all at the end. After cleaning it here it is now you have a stainless steel blank i hope that helped it's such an easy hack to do let's get it <laughs> 